For today, we've introduced you to Lauren Cunningham, Terry Watson, and now Jamie Nygaard. Jamie's a local mother, wife, believer, sports parent, busy in so many things that focus on her faith and her family. Jamie's also a photographer who desires for her talents to be used for God in all situations. Dancy Moeller recently talked with Jamie about a trip to Chicago that unexpectedly became a missionary opportunity. Well, Jamie Nygaard joins us now, and Jamie has created one of the most beautiful videos that I've ever seen. Oh, um, and she is with JB Nygaard Photography. This video um, really spoke to my heart, but it was on your heart for a it long was. time. So why don't you, um, I think we're going to be running some clips in the background, mm -hmm. but kind of lead us into <coughs> what got you to Chicago. Yeah, no, um, my husband and I took a trip, he had a little conference to go to, and um, I, I went to photography school. I'm a, I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I, I like to try to keep active in my photography, um, and, and I kept feeling the Lord telling me, you have a project, you have something to do. And I haven't done a photography project since college, since I was in photography school, and so I was kind of clueless on what I was supposed to do and the first day while we while we were there I just kept praying as I was walking and the Lord put the homeless on my heart and I just kept thinking really because uh, you're in Chicago I'm in Chicago this there's some home some homeless people aren't mentally there mm -hmm. it, it could be dangerous and I just really felt led and we were right by the magnificent mile and I thought you know what there's thousands of people there mm -hmm. and I really feel if this is God's plan for me to do this project, that I will be protected. I need to be smart. I need to be yes. safe. Sent out a quick text to some close friends and said, <laughs> my husband doesn't know yet, but, you know, please be praying for me and my safety. Yes. And then when he had come home that or to the hotel room that night, he's, I said, I was excited about my first project. And he was kind of, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> But, but at the same time, excited for me as well and was able to capture and meet some amazing people and capture some super special moments that ended up, you know, I, I still would love God to use this somehow, but he obviously used it through me. And in that experience really helped me to see the homeless through eyes that I've not seen before. And it was through God's eyes. Well, and you know, we are all God's children no matter where we are in our lives mm -hmm. and and that was um that came through very strongly to me you know um looking into their eyes yes. that you captured their their emotion and and that they're beautiful people mm -hmm. they're you know we're all beautiful yeah and so how did you approach these individuals because that huh, would be scary yeah no it, um kind of a God-led thing. You know, I some people I would walk by just not feeling, no, I don't think. And then I really would try to pick out women more, but there's there were not as many women, you know, okay. while I was there. Uh -huh. um, and just would start to talk to them and just say, you know, I'm doing a project for church, um, and would you mind me taking your picture? And can, I, can we chat for a little bit? Um, and a couple, I was, you know, turned away a couple times, but for the majority of the time, they just wanted to talk. Yeah. And I literally just tried to make sure I just brought myself to their level. Because, I mean, on the Magnificent Mile, there are people just spending thousands of dollars and are just really wealthy. And I, that's not mm -hmm. me. That's not, I wanted to come to their level and really get to know them. And, and what I learned more was just, they just, you know, they wanted just to take time. And, to, and time, our time is so valuable when we think about, you know, value on things. Definitely. And I also think it's a <laughs> reminder that, you know, so many of us are just one, one job away, mm. one loss away from being in their same position. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't, a lot of them don't mean to be on the street, mm -hmm. but that's, that's where they have to be. Mm -hmm. Um, what what were some of the stories that do you remember any specifically that um, struck you? The one lady towards the end of the video, um, she I believe her name was Mary Ellen. She just she had been homeless for a while, and I was very confused on what she never. I tried not to get too deep with them because I didn't want to offend them. But um, she had told me that one time a, a lady gave her a, a large amount of money and it enabled her to be able to go visit her daughter once. And that kind of surprised me because I think, you know, a lot of times 
I know me personally, I don't like to hand out large amounts of cash to homeless people mm -hmm. because you just don't know where they're going to use it. I'd rather give them food right. or something. But, um, but it was neat for me to hear that she had said, you know, that she used that to go visit her family. Wow. And um, that can be, you know, powerful. But at that same time, we had shared and she had taken out her Bible and opened up God's Word. And we, you know, opened up God's Word together, you know, on the concrete of, you know, yes, in Chicago. Mile. And um, just neat to have that time with her in God's Word. Well, I would love to talk with you more about this, but we are out of time. Jamie, thank you so much for the work you've done. If you want to check out this video, you can find it on YouTube. Um, and it is called Magnificent. Yes. And it's under Jamie Nygaard yes. Photography. All right, very good. Jamie, thanks so much. Oh, thank you. All right, back to you, Jen.